Good afternoon, Professor. This is my last presentation for the final PBL report. And here is my email, and my name is Kenneth Lim, Kenneth, and this is my student ID. Let's start. Since I have already discussed about testing in the last presentation, I'll just barely skip it and go directly from week 7. So during the week 7, mostly I learned about partial derivative and gradients. And most of them are related to partial derivative such as directional derivative and gradient descent method. And also, I learned how to search for local minimum and local maximum. And during week 8, it was the midterm, so I didn't learn anything. But on the week 9, I learned mostly about Newton method, which is an iterative optimization for finding the roots or minima of a function. And in week 10, I learned about permutation and combination and everything related to it, such as probability, conditional probability, sample space, Bayes' theorem, multiplication rule, and also I learned about distributions. There are three distributions that I learned, Bernoulli distribution, binomial distribution, Poisson distribution. And besides that, I also learned related uh, mathematical calculation related to distribution, such as expectation, variance, and standard deviations and this is the formulas of them all also i learned about covariance and correlation and covariance metrics in week 12 this is where it gets interesting where i learn principal component analysis or pca i learned everything about pca which is uh, a calculation for reducing dimension that transform high dimensional data into a new coordinate system emphasizing the most significant features by identifying and extracting principal components. Inside PCA, there are terms such as principal axis, principal direction, the derivation of principal components, centering, loadings, and method of language multipliers. I also learned about leading principal submetrics and linear regression. In week 13, I learned about neutral network which is a computational model inspired by the structure and the function of the biological neural network in the human brain. It is composed of interconnected nodes or neurons organized into layers including input, input layer and one or more hidden layer and then an output layer. I also learned that matrix multiplication is an important concept in building neural network. And I also learned about this one, MNIST, which is a data set in machine learning, specifically in handwritten digit recognition. It consists of a collection of 28 by 28 pixel grayscale images and written handwritten digits. The five things that I learned, it's actually not five, but more than five. So, so after I study math for AI for one semester, I'm just gonna start here from what I learned. I discovered new methods to find roots or minima of a function using Newton's method. I learned the difference between permutation and combination and their further usage in solving probability problems. I learned the difference also between Bernoulli distribution, Poisson distribution, and normal distribution. I learned the further operations that is related to distribution as well, such as expectation, variance, and standard deviation, correlation, and covariance. I learned principal component analysis or PCA and how, how to perform it and I also learned neural network in AI and its algorithm. So the most meaningful discussion that I have for the semester is this one where I search for the utilization of math in the AI un universe. I am here looking at working on principal component analysis which integrates the concepts both from linear algebra and statistic. And also, I discovered that the application of PCA in data science have an important role in data visualization, revealing patterns and relationship with high, higher dimensional data through projection into lower dimensions. Additionally, it facilitates efficient data processing and storage by reducing the 
dimensionality of large data sets as seen in applications like image compression where only most significant pixels are retained. Here, here are my participation part for the second semester. I uh, participated roughly 18 times and so that makes my total participation into 42. Oh, this, is, this should be 42. And next one, I usually answer the students or professional theoretical question using outside resource to support my answers. I also mostly upgraded uh, somebody's answer if they already make one. And I also applied my Python coding skills in various problems on the Yolin Keshipan. And I joined most of the available office hour class. I asked questions there. Uh, because I know that I was quite lagging in behind in class, so what I, I think what the best that I can do is to participate in online classes to get the newest info about the class. This is the new one I wrote. Mm, after midterm, I still maintain my maintain my learning discipline by upgrading questions, answering using Python code, and left comments or opinion on posts. However, I improved by applying covariance matrix on a database about temperature in several stations across my hometown Bandung, Indonesia, and could tell whether the temperature has tendency to increase or decrease. So the number of final OK by Aschili problems that I see on the Yolin Keshipan is 41 total. Like the, the Yolin Keshipan is 23, but the Muni Keshipan is 18, so the total is 41. Uh, I especially remember this one, uh, this post, where I, for the first time, applied my knowledge on real situation. I applied covariance matrix on database about temperature in several stations across my hometown, Bandung, Indonesia, and could tell whether the temperature has a tendency to increase or decrease. From here, I started to use other database from my home country government websites to manage the data. Uh, what I feel, this is my first half of the semester feeling and I'll read my second half. In the second half of the semester, I still feel the same as the first half of the semester. However, I am happier because I felt, uh, I felt that finally I can apply my knowledge on real world situations. And after this class, I look forward to apply my knowledge on my country's data and see what I can what change could I bring to my country using my knowledge I learned here in Math for AI class. I would like to thank the professor for this class by introducing new methods of studying. It opened up the chances for me to learn from others how they think on a problem and also share my perspective on a problem. And also the upgrading problems forces me to use all of my thinking capacity and let me grow in my character. This is my self-evaluation part. I think I have contributed to generate idea, ideas and facts needed to the issue. And I also propose learning issues associated with learning. And when I studied alone, I used, yes, I use variety of learning materials. I use professor's materials. I, I use outside materials. And also I use the other students given study material. I provide new information and knowledge in class, yes, because I answer many questions on the Yolin Keshipan. And I was actively involved in the discussion, and I provided a lot of questions in order to understand this discussion. Yes, I agree, and I also agree to this one, which made a contributing contribution to the learning activities for our class. Yes, I understand most of the contents of the learning process. Uh, about learning materials, I use the professor's explanation in the class, videos from YouTube, and mathematical journals I found on the internet. Uh, for the second half of the semester, I learned the difference between Bernoulli distribution, Poisson distribution, and normal distribution. I also learned principal component analysis and how to perform it, as well as neural network in AI. Network in AI. Uh, to and also, I learned to apply the knowledge in our daily life, to our daily life. And also, the post professor, the professor provided were really helpful in understanding the current situation in the AI industry. In the second half of the semester, I learned 
the Deep AI Neural Network from the Post in Gongji Nang Xingyong Mang Hua Ocha Yok Jun Pabobe De Hayo Ihe Handero Shil Su Hasio by Jong So Yun Nim. And I'll give myself a 9 out of 10 score for my self evaluation for QA activities. And overall, the other students are really active in the Munike Shipan, and that helps the class improvement overall. And this is my other self evaluation process, which is I participated in actively in both online and offline. I participated actively on Q and A. I yeah, I my question and reply made on Q and A are really relevant. Information provided by my activity was useful also, and I enthusiastically took into the consideration of other student opinions or point of view, and I contributed to class by participating on Q&A discussion. I am enthusiastic about taking other class with the same students if I am taking discrete mathematics. I am happy that we are not restricted to one way in solving problems, and the class let us explore our own ways to solve the problem and share it with others. I like the idea we, where we can learn from other students' curiosity, and other students can help us with our curiosity. Uh, there, however, there are some sorrows that I experienced during this class, which is it's quite hard to find a certain post that we have written to check whether our question has been answered or whether our answers are correct because there is no notification. At first, it was difficult also for me because all it is in Korean language and regarding the post structure was a bit confusing to me. However, as the time goes, I become more familiar with the system. And the self-affiliation 3 is for my colleague's name, which is Kim Chol, Song Yun Hu Nim, Jang Jae Yeo Nim, Kim Ji Won Nim, and Kim Dong Myun Nim. Yes, they participate in both online and offline classes. I participate actively, yeah, they active, actively. Uh, and also, they, my question and replies on Q&A are relevant. Information provided by their activity was also useful. And they are on also enthusiastically took into consideration other students' opinion. They contributed to class by participating on Q and A. Uh, and regarding the satisfaction satisfaction with my colleagues, they are they are really active in Yolin Kashipan, especially Kim Chol. Because if I'm not mistaken, he is one of the top three most contribute contributor in Yolin Kashipan, and their post is always involve a coding solution that is really helpful in showing us how the problem is solved. But sometimes, uh, students do forget to put our name of the people who already fully understand in the, in the title of the post. And here are my PBL lists. I'll, I've tried my best to make it small as small as possible. However, uh, it still are more than 700 pages. So the project submission, uh, and during the first half of the semester, I applied for this project, which is a comparative analysis of anomaly detection algorithm, one class SVM versus isolation forest. However, during the second half of the semester, I proposed a project title of Kyungsa Hagang Bokwa Newton's method. So this project focuses on creating an interactive simulation tool for visualizing Newton's method which allows the user to actively participate in the algorithm by providing an initial guess, and also the code is implemented in Sage. Uh, the, user, the simulation begins with the user inputting their initial guess, and the code utilizes the animation function to dynamically visualize each step, providing a clear understanding of how the algorithm converges to the solution. The research method methodology overview. The implementation is based on the concept covered in this course, particularly the visualization of Newton's method using Sage. The code structure involves defining the target function, its derivative, and initiating the Newton's method with a user provided initial guess. The simulation tool encourages active learning by allowing users to engage with the algorithm, the user input, and the initial guess. And the visualization illustrates how Newton's method iteratively refines this guess to approach to 
the solution. And in conclusion, the interactive simulation tool provides an effective means for students to grasp the nuance of the Newton's method, transforming abstract mathematical concepts into a tang tangible learning experience. And this is our post our for the project. My final comment, my experience in the online math for AI class has been enriching and rewarding. One standout feature I appreciate is the flexibility in problem solving, which allows us to explore various approaches and think more creatively. Collaborating with fellow students has been really helpful. Learning from their curiosity and offering assistance in return has enhanced my learning. The platform Muni Kashipan and Yolin Kashipan has been instrumental in facilitating interaction with the professor and getting clear answers to our questions. However, I did face some challenges such as difficulty on keeping track of posts due to the absence of notification and initial language barrier with Korean content. However, over time, I got more familiar with the system. After one year listening to this lecture, my opinion hasn't changed. The question and answer forum has always been great. A little bit of language barrier problem. However, I feel fulfilled because with the knowledge I have, finally I can apply it to the real world situation. I would like to thank the professor for this class by introduc introducing new method of studying. It opened up the chances for me to learn from others. However, how they think on the problem and also my perspective on the problem and also the upgrading problem forces me to use all my thinking capacity and let me grow in my character in summary the introduction math for ai course provided a unique and enjoyable learning experience the interactive muni kashipan and flexible problem solving approaches were its strengths this course equipped me with essential mathematical skill and a deeper understanding of AI fundamentals, which I'm looking forward to apply in future studies and my career. The end. Thank you, Professor, for this one semester. This is my, the end of my presentation, and thank you very much.